We all know Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, but did you know that someone else is considered the father of curtain and most electrical objects? The pioneer of modern electrical power, Nikola Tesla, invented, predicted, and contributed to the development of hundreds of electrical appliances that were used for decades. Have you ever gotten a bug stuck in your head? Not literally, of course, but a thought or an idea that you simply couldn't shake off. An idea so ridiculous that people think you're crazy. Thank you. That's what happened to Tesla too. At the pinnacle of his career, he had an epiphany, an obsession of sorts, that ultimately became the foundation for modern electrical appliances. The only way electrical appliances worked back then was by connecting them to a direct current via an electrical source. Tesla, on the other hand, thought wires were a nuisance. Kind of like how you feel when you have a million chargers and wires all tangled up and connected to a single switchboard. So Tesla figured there must be a way to transfer electrical current wirelessly. Tesla experimented with coils for a decade, attempting to transfer electrical signals via a radio frequency transformer. He achieved this using high voltage, high frequency alternating currents. Eventually, Tesla finally made a breakthrough and invented the Tesla coil, which was capable of transferring power over short distances without the use of any wire. The Tesla coil takes in electricity, converts it to high voltage power, and then induces an electrical field in a nearby object, like a light bulb. So when that object is brought within the range of the electric field, a current is induced. Since this current flows through the Tesla coil, it overcomes the limitation that electric fields will lose their strength rapidly as they're moved away from the source, and the transmission of energy becomes more and more inefficient. To achieve such high voltages and frequency, two concepts need to be understood. First, the voltage rise is facilitated with a transformer in the Tesla coil, which is made up of two coils, the primary and secondary one. The combined function of these two coils result in the output voltage being greater than the input voltage. The second concept is that the Tesla coil uses a resonance circuit. A resonance circuit is made of an inductor and a capacitor. When these two are connected in a closed circuit, in theory, an electrical current can flow cyclically indefinitely. In reality, the resistance of the circuit will gradually slow down electron movement, implying that current cannot flow indefinitely with this process. Regardless, this process holds two remarkable benefits. First, even though they can't hold energy indefinitely, they can do it for a certain period of time, although energy will be lost in each cycle. The second benefit is that resonance circuits have their own frequency at which they oscillate. So if two resonance circuits are positioned in close proximity and only the first one is made active, current will also be induced in the second inductor of the resonance circuit. Due to the magnetic waves of the inductor of the first resonance circuit. This phenomenon facilitates power transmission over much greater distances. Nevertheless, the Tesla coil is still not practical. A Tesla coil large enough to power a room full of lights may also cause a current to flow in the people in that room. This entire mechanism, while outdated, is still used in many appliances all around the globe. Remote controllers, remote controlled toys, smartphone wireless charging stations, and more are just a few examples. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to let me know by leaving a comment.